uh, animations in Unity. And in order to do animations, we need sprite sheets uh, to do our animations. And in case you've seen a lot of sprites out there, uh, many times uh, you might need to create your own sprite sheet. So this Leshy Sprite Sheet tool, you can see the address up here where it's found, is a great tool if you have individual images and you want to put them all into one sprite sheet. So um, I went to uh, another website you should be aware of, Open Game Art. And in Open Game Art, let me just show you this uh, link here. Um, in Open Game Art, uh, there is one um, artist who has provided a lot of great free tile sheets. And they include the robot, Ninja Adventure. This is the one I'm going to be using. I'm going to be new using this Ninja sprite sheet. So you see all these animation sequences. Each one of these sequences uses 10 images. So we're going to use those to build out a slide sheet. Uh, you will notice that it's public domain. Um, so this artist has shared that freely. So um, I just want to give a shout out. Nice job. Um, and so let me just show you how to do this. So once you've extracted your folder of images, you will have a folder called PNG. So it's called Ninja Adventure. When you extract all your files, you'll see PNG. And we're going to take the first set, uh, first animation sequence, which is idle. You'll notice it's 000 to 009, and then it goes to the next sequence. Now, in order for this style sheet creator to work, you got to be careful. You want to highlight all of the sprites, but you would like, if you have them ordered, you want to make sure you, you initially click on the first sprite. If I were to click on idle four, for example, and I drag that out and I let go, this first image would actually be the fourth image, or actually the fifth image, and then it would count up to 000, or 009 and then start over. So you have to be careful when you do that, that you um, click on the first in the series, drag it over. And on the sprite map, you can see all the image titles here. Plus, you can see um, the, si like, uh, the position, the left-hand side, the right-hand side. So this gives you an idea of where the location of all the sprites are. You give it a name, like Ninja Idol. And you click Save, and it will save one solid sprite sheet for all of these, and you can now use that in your game. So as soon as that's done, I'm going to right-click on here. I'm going to click on there and choose Show in Folder. That's the graphic I'm looking for. I'm going to go into my Unity game. And at this point, I have no Ninja game object, so I'm going to create my Ninja in here. So um, I'm going to go to Game Object, and I'm just going to create an empty one. That's Control-Shift-N. And then I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to double-click it here. I'll rename it and name it Ninja. OK, so that's my Game Object. If you look in the inspector, he has a position, a rotation, a scale, but there's nothing to really look at here. If we zoom in, we don't see anything when I click on Ninja. See that? So we're going to have to add components for it. So there's a series of components you want to add. The first one, of course, should be what's called the sprite renderer. In fact, I'm going to create a sprite folder to save my sprites that I just created. So I'm going to create a new folder. Notice my assets, I've already selected sprites. Create a new folder, and I'm going to title it Ninja. And then I'm going to open that folder. So now I can go to the file Ninja Idol. I'm going to drag it right into this window, let go. I've got my sprite in there. And I'm going to want to add a couple items here. So first of all, I want to point out that this, this image, if I click on here, you can expand it and you can see what it's made up of. And if I look over, once I select the sprite, I see the inspector. The inspector will say that it's a sprite 2D and it's used for a sprite. Then we have sprite mode single. Well, this is actually a sprite sheet, so it's multiple. So I click multiple. I'm going to leave pix pixels per unit at 100. And that's 100%, I believe. I'm going to click sprite editor. And now it's going to open up the sprite for me to edit. So in order to slice it, it really is handy to know the width and height of all your images. 
Unfortunately, when I did this the first time, I had to basically just guess. I believe it was something like 53. I'm going to try 100. I'm going to click slice. 53 wide, 100 tall. Uh, pixel size is way off. So now I'm going to have to adjust that. Of course, if you do a little very simple math, you'll see one, two, three, four. So it's about 200 pixels, maybe even more wide. So let's try doing that, quadrupling it. We'll do 200 by 400. Click slice. The height is still off. So you want to just keep adjusting it till you get it right. Now, I actually see that it's 232 by 439. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out. So, uh, the slice turns out by looking at the sprite sheet, it's 232, 439. Um, one of the things I want to do is zoom in on my sprites and see if this is indeed true. I want to look at the left edge, the top, and I want to look all the way down the right. And I want to just make sure that they see that it lines up perfectly on the sprite. Now, this one is cut off by one pixel. You can see it extending to the right. This one's cut off by two pixels. So I can clearly tell these probably need to be offset. And let's look at the bottom of our sprites and make sure, yeah, those are offset too. So what we want to do is we're going to create padding. I think we want to do padding because it's not an offset. We want to put a little space in between all of our grids. You see how it moved down a little bit? So I'm going to zoom in here. Those pixels, uh, those are off by one pixel. You want to look at the left, you want to zoom in on the right. You want to look at the top and the bottom. Make sure nothing is cut off. It's the best way to make sure everything's going to slice just right. Looks good. I click apply and I can close it and I will have my sprite, all my little sub images for my animations. All right, just to test it out, look at your sprites, click on that, and you'll, you should see all of these open up. Now, I have my ninja over here, and ninja is invisible because all I have is transform. Remember, it's an empty object. So what I need to do is add some components. The first component I'm going to do is under rendering, and it is a sprite renderer. Sprite renderer. This allows us to see our image as a sprite and you will see the sprite says none. So in order to get a sprite in here, I'm gonna click on the first image of Ninja Idol, drag it over here and let go, and my Ninja is nice and big. Probably bigger than I really need, right? So one of the things I wanna do is I wanna reposition my Ninja. I wanna move my Ninja up, and then I wanna scale him so he's not so big. I don't want him to be the size of this. So what I can do is while I have my ninja selected, I go to transform on scale. Let's make it half the size by putting in 0.5 for X, 0.5 for Y. That looks a little bit better. If we want them smaller, we can try a 0.4. Oh, little bit smaller. And so it's up to you how you want to do it. I'm actually going to do 0.3 on both of these. And there's my ninja. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So that looks pretty good compared to the size of the platform. Of course, I can move my platforms. But at this point, I want to make sure I do that on transform in here. Okay. So ninja's ready on here. Now we're ready to add some animation. Now, to add animation, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder under our assets. Just like we had one for physics, scripts, sprites, we're going to do one for animations. So in animations, I'm going to create a subfolder for my ninja. Uh, you know what? For now, I, I'll wait until I need the folder, and then I can always create it, drag them, move them later. What I want to do is add an animation for my character, but I need to actually add two items. The first one is an animation controller, or animator controller, excuse me. So I create an animation controller, animator controller. I'm going to name it Ninja Animator Controller. Okay. This right here is not 
part of Ninja. So I have to add it as a component. So I'm going to click Add Component. I believe it's miscellaneous. Yep. And there's Animator. I'm going to take this, drag it over to the controller. And now my Ninja has an animator. We'll just call it Animator. Okay. Right now we don't have an avatar. But with the animator, if I double click the animator, it's going to open up the animator tab. And what the animator tab is going to show us, it's going to show us every animation clip that we can control. So right now we have a block that says any state and one that says entry. Entry is, of course, when the game object first appears. And we have an animation um, sequence here called Ninja Idle. So what we want to do is we want to add an animation clip to our animator. And that animation clip is going to be based on these sprites. So I'm going to go back to animations. I'm going to create a folder. Oh, no, I don't want a folder. Excuse me. Undo. What I really want is an animation clip. So I'm going to right-click, create, and it's animation. And I'm going to name, uh, label it ninja-idle. So I've created my animation in here, and it's not part of my animator. So what I can do is just click the clip and drag it into here and then let go. Immediately, you'll see entry with a line and an arrow pointing to Ninja Idle, and Ninja Idle is orange. Orange signifies this is a default animation. In fact, what it's basically saying is the moment we enter the game, we're going to go straight to the Ninja Idle mode, and that's going to be an animation. So you see how we do it. We create an animator, an animation, and then the animator is now connected to the Ninja. And what we need to do is we need to now set this animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new tab over here to view and edit the animation. Now I'm going to see what happens if I just double click it. Ah, sure enough, it didn't do anything. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to add my tab for the animation. And you'll immediately see a timeline here. If I drag that out. Well, it's hard to drag it over. So if I were to drag this over, you'd see more of a timeline going up to two seconds. Okay, my Ninja Idol is only 10 images, so it's going to be a lot shorter than that. So what I need to do is I need to actually get my pictures and put them on the animation timeline. So what I have to do here is go to the Ninja folder. There's Ninja Idol. I want to grab all of these pictures. So I'm going to hold down Shift, click on the first, then click on the last. And then just in case, I'm going to click on the first one and drag it over into this window. And it's not working yet. And the reason why is I need to select Ninja first. And when I select Ninja, the animation tab now shows Ninja Idle here. Now I can grab all of those and drag them onto here and let go. Now, it's really important. You must have selected Ninja first, and you want to see the name of the animation on here. I created the animator, then the animation, and then I selected the Ninja, and I added the animation here. And look at this. This turns red. That means we can see what's going on. If I click on the game or I click on scene, if I press play, I should be able to see that animation sequence. And I'm not. Go to animator. All right. Well, let's take a look at this. Okay, without going a little bit further here, I want to look at this animation clip. And one of the things that sample here is too big. We're going to adjust it. I'd say around 10 or so. You can go up, you can go down, and then press play on. Oh, I'm sorry. The play is what we want to do is play it here. We play it here, we can see an animate. Let's click on the game view. Actually, let's go back to scene and let's zoom in on our animation. I want you to see the animation cycle here. So I click play and you can see it looks like he's scratching himself. So apparently that's what ninjas do when they're not doing something else. Okay, on my next uh, part of the tutorial, I'm going to go over actually um, doing a little bit more of how do we go from 
um, the game entry to idle and setting up our ninja as well. So stay tuned for that video. Sir?